What's up? Welcome back to the Southside Skate Park channel. Today we're going to be getting into the Albino Preto Nike SB's latest Dunk Low releasing on September 23rd. Um, as always, your skateboarding is our priority. Um, where we review uh, products, skateboarding products that have yet to come out. So subscribe and like our video, turn your notifications on, download the Southside Skate Shop app, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, and make sure you comment below. So I have actually a professional here with a little too much cutting on this shoe to reveal these various color panels. So I brought in uh, packs to go. You can catch them on Instagram. We're gonna have a party this Friday. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, probably. All right, I have a great time. It's gonna be sick. All right, first off, here it is. The sale box era is upon us. The colorway of this Dunk Low is Fossil Black Sail. The shoe releases on 923. The first thing you'll see when you open your box is gonna be a brown paper, paper bag. I cannot remember uh, a donk ever coming in a brown paper bag. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, so this is the first. On the bag, the category is jujitsu meets skate. It says uh, Nike SB and A and P. A season is fall twenty three. It's a Dunk Low Pro. Developer is Arrive and the Nike SB team. Gate is final, and the remark is mats don't lie, tram work. If you're in the jiu-jitsu space, you've probably heard heard this before. Um, I am not, but one day, I don't know. I, I heard the training is amazing. I heard jiu-jitsu is super fun. Let's, uh, let's pop it open and check it out. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. So, um... A and P albino and preto is known for like a modern take on the jujitsu kimonos, and you can see the heavy canvas that adorns the entire exterior of the upper. Um, the laces they come laced with the uh, natural kind of a bone color lace, but real quickly they have um, man they have. Six different laces representing the uh, the belts, the belts of the jujitsu uh, practice. Um, everybody starts out as white belt, you know, so on and so forth. I believe it's orange. Um, it has the A and P logo on the heel. Man, this is sick. Really, uh, really nice insole print. Oh wow! Let's check this out. Do the shrimp. It's hiding under there. Yeah. What? <laughs> black tread. Tradition. Uh, the newer Donk Soul. Black Phylon. And uh, again, I brought in an expert because we're gonna start cutting it up a little bit and checking it out. The cutting process. What is pretty, the deal? Like pretty heavy canvas on here. You know, you gotta get a brand new blade for this. You're definitely gonna want to be careful when cutting away on these materials, though. If you, especially if you have a brand new blade. If you have a brand new blade, you know there's a possibility that you might cut through too many layers. So I would definitely be careful when cutting through it. We start from the inside right here. Safety six. So you're going quarter panel behind the check, fire it on the check. Sick. I think we have the same colorway here. Same colorway. Yeah, we have the same colorway here. <laughs> So don't cut that panel. Don't cut the center panel. Don't cut the center panel behind the check. We have a. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a point to that. Yeah, maybe there is. So I think we're cutting through like a thicker canvas material of the kimono to get down to the thinner canvas of the gi itself. Like what you would wear on the mats. What you're gonna wear when you train. It's looking good. This is our very first time to to actually cut a dunk on the show. So yeah. Boom. First layer. Sick. One thing I will say is like the weight of these boxes, these shoe boxes, is uh definitely high. Um, because it's double layered and this uh this material is pretty heavy. So I think we should do a toe cap. Go for it. 
So one thing I noticed about the uh, embroidery on the toe cap is uh, sort of a triangular shape. Sort of looks like it says AP. Kind of reminiscent of their logo. It's kind of a sharp, angular logo. You're trying to figure. I mean, I'm trying to figure out like if all these stitches are going diagonal, like yeah, the top layer into the they, blue. They definitely seem like they're into the blue panel below. So you're gonna have to snip like all of them. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, if you guys are gonna plan on cutting off the toe cap, you're gonna have to pull all these stitches here. And I'm getting from where now. So basically, before I started doing all this, this is how my shoes would look after finish skating them. I'm liking the way this toe box is looking. Let's see our toe box. That looks crazy, huh? Yeah, check it out. Look how crazy that looks. Looks like the toe cap literally blew out. Let's get the rest of these stitches off. Wait and take these laces off. We get the rest of this toe cap off and move on to the next panel. They are pretty much. I wonder if there's a correlation between like how plain the shoe is on the outside, but how colorful it is on the inside. That's anything to do with like jujitsu culture. Right, the intro does look like, like it has all the same color panels. Yeah, like it's kind of a it's kind of like a giveaway. A little bit, kind of let you know like what lies underneath that first layer. Damn, nice toe cap on the board. Oh, board. So what's next, Isaac? Where should we go from here? I think we should move on to the back, the back piece right here. All right, I see what's under there. A little easier panel. It doesn't have all the tiles. Some here, I was in this. Well, let's see what's up with it. What's box start? See what's under this color. So this would be a no-go panel. No-go panel. We got a no-go panel. So, so I, I wouldn't cut that part. It's the same color below. So as I leave that on, that panel does not chameleon. Ready to remove it? Yeah, I think we did long. It's a little dark here. I like the material change. Right? It's gonna sit. A little dark there. I think we cut me off is the best fit. That does look tight though. Right, it's a little bit darker. It looks kind of sick with the uh, kind of contrast stitch. There. And then double pot, double panel up a little bit. Looks kind of tight. Take it up around the wing and just cut just inside the uh, stitch line. Yeah, to make it match. Way under him. Yeah, it does look dope. I look nice. sick. It actually looks a lot like the Jordan 1. Those yeah. cost in Chameleon Jordan 1s. Yeah, I know it's really definitely really tumble. Yeah, looks tight. Maybe it, maybe it's not a no-go panel. Maybe it's like a definitely do this panel. Right. It looks sick like that. Hey, yeah. I said we remove these, um, I'm still like this one with these collars. This is why I brought in the expert, man. It's too much. It's too much. It's crazy. It's looking sick. I actually like it. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah, looks dope. <laughs> See what we got going on here. I think the purple is here. That's going to be my guess. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Let's do a try. Let's cut into. Bam. Put some purple under there. Sick. Like I want to jump in there and lend you a hand, but not much I can do. I'm trying to be super careful with this blade too, because yeah, brand new, blade. brand new blade. You know, cuts through canvas like butter. That's how far we've got. That's pretty dope. Brother pound, so we'll move on to. Look at this check. All right, this yeah. us check ball. Here it goes. It's the classic check removal cut. Yep. You're out of experience. This is on. Nice. Cutting away. Sick. 
music is coming out nice going down the original and the cut boom bam super dope I like the bike there is hanging yeah. off See, I'm feeling this kind of right. Regardless, yeah, I like it. Was dope. I like it with the khaki left on. Yeah. So we go ahead and remove this back piece right here. See what we got under there. Halfway there. It's pretty. Bino and Prezzo. <laughs> Jiu-jitsu kimonos and geese. That looks dope. Dang, like the bike part. Dang, that was clean. That was fun. Yeah, definitely fun. The shoe is crazy. All these different colorways on it. That's sick. He's uh got the hit, the albino preto AP. Mats don't lie. Man, so when I first saw the shoe. And I'd seen early images of the shoe. I felt like it was a drop. But having cut into it a little bit and seeing the colors and how they're revealing themselves, I'm feeling like it's a cop. Comment below. Cop or drop. Thanks for watching and supporting Southside. Your skateboarding is our priority. Be sure to like, subscribe, download the app, turn your notifications on. Um, stay, never miss a drop. Uh, I want to thank Tax to go for coming out and lending us with his expertise. I appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks everybody over at Nike for uh, creating such amazing shoes. Awesome to talk about. Um, thanks Albino Preto. This is a sick one. Good job.